We wanted to prove that you could start an eBay business starting with just $10. So in three months, we're trying to get $5,000 in profit and all the supplies we need to start a business. Last time we sold six items and added 11 more to our store, increasing our total listed value to $1,148. And we also checked two things off our business supplies list. So we have uh, our bins, at least for a little bit, <laughs> but they'll do for now. Work with what you got. And we also got a light box. H how did you like it? It's amazing. Okay, good. I, <laughs> I, I really like how it came together. Shout out to the comments suggesting just get some poster board. We were thinking about it, but you, you put the nail in the coffin. We also talked about how we're not really on track to hit our $5,000 goal. So I think we have two easy steps to completely turn this around. One, buy more. Two, sell more. It's really simple. <laughs> right. But seriously, we really want to try and get a lot of items this week and then aggressively send offers just like we've been doing. But hopefully we can get enough items to where we can start scheduling more out per day because I really think that consistent impressions is going to get us consistent sales. So I'm really looking forward to that. And then speaking of sales, here's what sold over the weekend. We just sold two items. Both of them we listed for $55 and we accepted offers on both of them. This Swiss Army alarm clock, we accepted an offer for 50 and this TI-84 plus, we accepted an offer of 52. All right, so we shipped off those two things. It's the next day and we have two offers. So let's, uh, I, I wanna show Alpal because these are some high dollar offers. We have the square terminals listed at 169.99. We got an offer for 140 and then offers, another offer for 140. Mm -hmm. This one's from Arizona. This one's from California. I feel like it's smarter to ship to Arizona. Do you know if they're in the same zone as far as shipping goes? I, I don't know that. I would okay. just, I mean, if it's 140, I would, for uh -huh. both of them, I would just take the, the Arizona take one. The closer one technically, just for a little bit. Technically, he offered first. So uh, I'll, I'll accept the offer. Yeah, I mean, what you what was your buy cost? A uh, few bucks. Yeah, I don't wait around. Okay, don't completing. Wait around on that, yeah. All right, and then next up we have um, the TI. 84. So he, we have it listed at 50. He wants it for 47. I mean, anything that's like 5% off, you just automatically yeah. accept uh, it. And he's from California, but it's light. I think we can, it'll be under a pound. Oh yeah. Yeah, so yeah. it'll be cheap to ship. It Accepting. Accepting. Okay, now in general, when sending offers, we've been sending like 10% off. Do you recommend we just keep doing that consistently? Do we do 5% off? Like, especially when we're talking our higher dollar items. If it's fast moving, I would stay 10% or under, but if it's sold like that jacket that you listed, you'll probably have to send decent offers on that because the traffic it's, is not very high on that. We have item. it listed at 200 and we paid 40 for it. I'm considering sending offers for like 120 bucks, maybe even a hundred, I don't know. Not many eyes are looking at that jacket, so I would definitely no. be generous on offers. Okay, but now we need to ship these items. I cannot believe that we bought this thing for $7 and just accepted an offer of $140. That is insane. Be on the lookout for square terminals. And then we paid $25 for this TI-84 Plus Silver Edition and just accepted an offer of $47. It's the next day and we have two more offers. They've just slowly been trickling in, but our very first item we picked up and week one, the shoes, we have an offer. Which is funny, because I've been, I sent an offer yesterday for like 12 bucks. So I wonder if this is like less or $15. We're wow. accepting, no questions asked. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and then next we have the, the graphing calculators. 46 bucks, so we're asking 50. Yes. Uh, why not? Yep. It's going to California. Well, all this stuff is going to California. Man, we gotta ship pretty far. I know. But, but those, uh, those ones will be, won't be too bad. Yeah, so we did switch to calculated shipping on a lot of stuff just to be extra safe. If we were shipping a lot of stuff of like the same weight, we could probably figure out how to do flat shipping. But for us, there's too many variables and calculated shipping is just kind of safe. So now we have two more items to ship. So it took five weeks <laughs> for the very first item yeah. to sell. So ideally you wanna sell through 100% of your store in less than 90 days. If you can do that, you're gonna be successful. We're, our sell through is really good. Yeah, but we're also accepting offers pretty aggressively. We're, we're just being aggressive. We have 12 yeah. active with 21 sold, which is, which is very it, good. But it's, it's, really good. it's not uncommon from what I've seen from like people in the discord who are going like hard. There's this one guy, but he started with a hundred bucks and turned it into like 2000 cash in his first month. 
And then in his second month, turned it into 5,000. And his third, turned it into like 25,000 in amazing. sales in like in three months. He, he's, he was hustling hard, he was killing it. So don't expect that, but if you got the hustle, maybe uh, let's, let's ship out some stuff now. Great. Okay. We just sold the shoes that we got in episode one. This is actually the first item that we picked up at the first garage that we went to, so it's kind of sentimental. Sad to see them go, but also excited to accept an offer of $15. We also paid $25 for this calculator and just accepted an offer of $46. Okay, we actually uh, can't ship anything because there's uh, two, two problems. Let me stand back up. I don't want to sit. We accepted the offer on the shoes and those are currently unpaid, so we actually can't ship those out. And then two, the calculator that we sold, we actually put the wrong title in. It's, we marked it as like a different model than what it actually yeah. is. So I sent a message to the buyer and hopefully they, they still want it. Like if not, maybe we'll just knock off like five bucks and like refund them a little bit. Right. I don't know, but we have to wait on that message. In the meantime, Brother Dave, there's an estate sale nearby. Oh really? I think you need to grab somebody and go because it, it looks, they have games potentially. I don't oh, know. If, I don't okay. know if you'll get any. It's kind of late at this point, Okay. Um, but you, you should go now. Well, it's pretty cold. So I'm going to take that and I'm going to grab Alpel. Okay. There you go. Thanks. All right, I have $398 to spend. Hopefully the place isn't too far away. It's only 10 minutes away, so let's hightail it over there and get some stuff quick. All right, let's do it. Promising. Well, this is an estate sale. There's two houses and nobody's here. This so feels, I, it I'm felt just, like we were just walking into someone's house. This is super cool. Let's, let's go find some stuff. I mean, obviously we are walking into someone's house, but you know what I mean. I know what you mean. Yeah, oh my goodness. Look. Oh. Okay, well, Tamron. Definitely gonna look, oh, let's see. Look that up for sure. We saw a listing for close to, to 30 on this guy. And we got, it seems to be complete, so. We might pull the trigger on it. Uh, there's not there's not a whole lot of markings. It looks like a lot of the, the price tags are stuff from Goodwill. He seemed to get it from a lot of the stuff from Goodwill. He said that he wanted 50% of what we could make from it because he, he saw that we were we were reselling this stuff. He said that the, the more that we get, uh, he might uh, be able to give it to us a lot more than 50% off. So I'm gonna go try to find some more stuff. All right, found two more potential items. This guy's selling for around 40 and this guy for, 35 we're doing pretty good I, I think it would be nice to if we could get you know, another five to ten items here that would be really awesome i found a, a, a listing on this guy for, for around 50 um, but that, those are brand new listings and it doesn't seem like this is for sure sealed there's a, quite a few things i'm thinking about here uh, i want to find a lot of smaller items um, that are easy to list this is going to take a second especially because it's not sealed i'd have to take pictures of everything um, and it, and definitely with the weight the, the, that it is it's just going to be more more of a hassle so definitely going to focus on getting some smaller stuff kind of like this guy which is selling closer to 25 plus shipping yeah. i mean there are some like 10 cent, 15 cent. I, I don't know much about like old comments like this, but it's interesting for sure. They're not in the best shape. Definitely the the right-ish ish era, but I, again, I don't know much. We got some magic cards here. Again, something that I know nothing about, but also intrigues me a lot. If they're cheap, I'm just gonna pick them up and sell them a lot, so. I think we'll definitely add that to the pile. I don't know a whole lot about these guys, but I just looked them up. They're stamp punches and they're going for pretty good. Uh, so, I mean, they're, they're small and they're little, just like we were just talking about. So I definitely think we should try to make a deal on these guys. We just got a box full of stuff for 50 bucks and I'm definitely gonna have to show you guys later. Some, some cool stuff, I'm excited about it. All right, we're back home. Yes, Sky Guy, uh, you have a box of goodies here that you've been like roughly pricing. I'm, we I'm excited. got some fun stuff. Okay, how let's, much? Let's how much did it. you spend? We spent fifty bucks. Okay, so that puts us at a number. 
<laughs> so magic cards. They look they look modern. Yeah, 2012, 2013. They're all land cards. So these are like terrain cards. So nothing crazy special there, but that, that could be a pretty good price for just unpicks. There could be something right, there. Right. Um, this guy. We looked it up and we, we found like four of them and they were going for, for pretty good. I can't okay. remember. Do we maybe have like, a price on those? I don't know, maybe like 10 bucks. Yeah, I can't remember. So it was okay. honestly, it was something like 10 to 20. So okay. we, we felt pretty good about it. Easy, I want to be careful here, but holy cow. Yeah. $100 yeah, for this vintage rike. You can I tell how humid it is, why we need bins. Yes. Oh my goodness, that's crazy. <laughs> yeah, we um, actually found the correct lens um, okay. for it. And I, it thought, a... I saw a sold for $195. Holy cow. So if this works, it could be really good. And this guy. This I know these are probably in like the $25 range. Yeah, so this is okay. Canon. So uh, that's pretty that's, darn, pretty that's darn good. This guy, Nicormit. I don't, I don't know. Uh, it's a Nikon lens though, so maybe yeah. it's like some offshoot of it. I don't know what this thing is on top, but 50 bucks probably sounds about right. Right. Um, four cameras in general. Look up, um, look up solds on eBay and see if the camera body sells for more without the lens. So like sometimes they have a certain lens with them and they sell for a certain amount, but sometimes you can actually get more if you piece them out. So we'll have to look into that as well. That's true. And I don't know what this thing is. Yeah, it Either. might be something. It's just another might be nothing. hot shoe flash thing. Oh, well, we'll figure that out. This guy, brand new. Anything brand new. Yep. 40 bucks all day. There was a bunch of stuff just kind of like this that okay. we looked up that wasn't worth it. But like, yeah, stuff like this, 40 bucks. Okay. Like no, no brand. That's sweet. These things like, oh. I don't think we got footage of this. Alex actually found this like in a random closet. Okay. So, uh, um, well, I like it. Yeah. 20 bucks seems... Pretty seems fine. Good. Yep. This is a Bushnell, Bushnell made camera lenses? I was a little confused uh, as well when I looked it up and I, I didn't actually find anything. It's probably like 20 bucks. Like all lens, like these are heavy metal right, yeah. lenses. Right, right. It's probably something. Uh, baseball glove. That's cool. 25 bucks? What, what brand is it? Oh, Mizuno. Chase taught me this recently. Anything Mizuno is usually pretty good. My goodness, more lenses? I, there's more. Like we just got what this. On Earth? This is endless. It's just crazy. Okay, so another lens. Uh, a Sigma. Sig lens Sigma. Right okay, that's that's pretty good. 25. That sounds maybe low again. Uh, this is probably for one of these things. Yeah. Little lens cap. This guy. That is, just was with the camera. It's I, probably trash. It but probably we can is. sell it with yeah, one of could. them. I don't know. Okay, so it's more of these stamp things. 20 bucks! Yeah. So are all these like 20 bucks then? Yeah, like almost all of them are. These are these different? Is it the same I, as the green one? They, it was just crazy. They, we, just look, we looked them up and they, they just happened to be going for, for something good. So, so we, we like got to, them all. I'd like to point out that we have bought zero games. Like we bought like a rock band guitar, so like an accessory. But we have bought no games it's and crazy. we've gone to sales where we have targeted like everything but. So target things that you don't know about. Yeah. Look stuff up, don't be afraid. Cause like, like you showed me a picture of the sale and it did not look good. No. Uh, so you, you just have to do your research. I'm sure all this was passed up because people thought it was junk, but $25 is $25. Um, so that's cool. And then these boxes, this is cool. Yeah. Labyrinth. We gotta play that a little later. I know, I would kinda just want <laughs> They're that. They're so fun. We, we definitely need to clean and test that one. <laughs> um, so 20, 30 bucks on that, and then this, it's a car cooler. Yeah, we were trying to not get like too many big items. We ended up still getting these two just because they were, they seemed well, like we've like good buys. We've still. learned from our mistakes. We'll just charge calculated shipping yep. and be and be fine. I, I wouldn't have passed up on this either. That, that's pretty cool, it especially because it has a box. Yes. Meyer, back in the day, forty nine ninety five. My goodness, yeah, what year did crazy. this come out? Oh, 2003. So not as old as <laughs> I thought, but hey, that's pretty good. Yeah. And then you have all of these. I think we need to take those inside and look at those a little bit deeper because that's, yes. that is really cool and there could be something good there or it could be a complete waste of time. Yeah. Okay, so we have everything uh, in the barn kind of laid out briefly just by like kind, but I brought Alpal over because I have a couple questions for him okay. as far as like <laughs> how we should list these. There's too much to, to look up and it might not even be worth it. Yeah. They could be 50 cents a piece. What would your strategy be? I would put them up for auction. Like this is the one one of the um, ways we would utilize an auction, like two bucks a piece, put up I an just auction. Put it up for what we'd be happy and, with getting if yeah. it gets one bid. With whatever you're happy with, and then okay. there could be a nice one that you end up getting like a skyrocket mm -hmm. and 
get is like, it smart to still like look it? up just like one random one in the bunch to see like face value or yeah just i would, I would look even... up like anything like an attractive one that looks possibly nice and and okay. see but considering no matter what these sell for even if they sell at the yeah. minimum bid you're still making good money okay so should we split it up like this or should we do like there's only a few here and if they're 10 cents a piece i don't want to be asking you know 20 bucks for the lot and just yeah, have it make sell. A should bigger, we just do make bigger, a bigger lot to make it a little more attractive bigger lots with what makes sense yeah. like but i like how you 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 this. put them into different we we separated by like gold keys as well yeah like i i feel like those are better if we look them up it gold keys is. are kind of actually the cheaper ones but okay well never mind See, you never know. <laughs> yeah. Chase, what do you think? Yeah, I mean, I would do a minimum of 10 per lot. <clears throat> the beauty of this type of purchase is you don't need to use your time to research. You can let the buyers basically do the research by their bids. Right? Yeah. As long as everything's laid out and pictured, let them decide if there's any key issues or anything crazy. Cool. Save some time. Yeah, that saves us time because I think we only have like, maybe like five hours or so. Maybe say, I, I don't know, the time is up here. Uh, we don't have a ton of time left this week, and there's a lot more to list. And yeah, some of it might be some time-consuming listings with <laughs> testing, with cleaning. Yeah. So yeah, that's definitely a factor here. So now with all that information in mind, we can now list everything, which I'll have you do. Okay. And then um, after we can kind of talk about some of the challenges we run into, but what value do you think we have total? And like the last last week, we were close to what was it, 600? Mm -hmm. I think that we might have hit. 700, 800? I'll go 750 in listed right. value. That's so probably a good guess. Let's list it all. Let's do it. But before we list everything, I have a bunch of stuff that I want to give away. eBay recently sent us a care package filled with a bunch of stuff. And because we're in this challenge, we actually can't use all of it. So we're gonna pass it on to you guys and give it away. There's about 50 giveaways, including like just cool merch, light boxes, and starter kits. This is filled with like bubble envelopes, like mailers, poly bags, like stickers, like a ton of really good stuff. So one of the things that we do is eBay listing challenges and season seven is actually going to begin in our Discord really soon. So one of the things we wanna do is give away a ton of this stuff for the first people that join when the challenge goes live. Here's what you need to know. Starting today, August 2nd, the yearly membership for Discord actually gets you two months free. So I think we're actually gonna buy that next week, Brother Dave. And then Monday, August 14th, season seven begins. It's a 30 day listing challenge. And for two years, we've done these challenges in the Discord and the growth we've seen and people just starting out or already established and reselling, it's it's been phenomenal to see and witness some people just change their lives. So join us, do this challenge with us. The link is in the description with all the information you need. And while you're down there, check out our link for XYAB, another channel sponsor. Get $50 off your first $100 order. Thank you so much to XYAB and eBay for being sponsors of the channel. But now, listing montage. <laughs> Starting off, I listed this travel cooler for $35. I'm listing this fish finder for $30. This Mizuno glove, I'm listing for $25. I listed both of these Sony Walkman headsets for $25. After having a ton of fun with this labyrinth puzzle, I'm listing it for $25. We tested and cleaned each of these cameras and listed them for $100 a piece, making them the highest listed items of the week. We divided all the comic books into seven auctions, starting each one at this. I'm listing this Sigma lens for 50, this Lot for 40, this Canon Speedlight for 30, and this Bushnell lens for 25. I'm starting the auction for these Magic the Gathering land cards at $20. I'm listing these two paper punches for $20 and this one for 10. And as the last of 24 listings of the week, this Grundig radio is listed for $20. Got this stuff listed, now it's just a waiting game. And looking back at this week, we got all of this stuff for $50 and got 24 listings out of it. So that means that on average, each of these items was a little bit more than $2 a piece. That's insane. Also, the buyer of the shoes just submitted their payment and the buyer of the calculator was completely fine with our mishap in the title. So we can ship both of those out and we just sold our last calculator. We got all of them for $25. $25. We sold this guy for $55. So we pretty much have doubled up on the calculators that we got last week. So that was a great investment. Um, I'm sure it was probably close to 80 bucks total uh, in profit. So let's get that shipped out. After listing all of that stuff, it seems like our current listed value is just gonna be through the roof after this week. 
So let's go meet up with Sky Guy and get our totals. All right, so we have our totals for the week. We ended up spending our entire 10 hours, which is fine. There was a lot of stuff to list and it was pretty dirty. Yeah, honestly, pretty dirty. A lot of things to test. So, so if you don't want to list dirty stuff and take a long time doing it, just buy clean stuff. And then up until this point, we have this much in listed inventory. And now total, we have this much, which is absolutely insane. Over $750 added in value, just off $50 spent. So. Well done, Brother Dave. Yeah. And then I think that actually brings our hourly rate, even after spending a bunch of money, to like $7.93 per hour, which is fantastic. We're, I think we're above federal minimum wage. Yes. <laughs> Let's go. We're doing much better. So we're, we're, doing, we're doing good. I like it. Uh, but there is still room to improve. So we have a couple of big decisions to make in this next episode. So we'll see you there. Consider subscribing. I'm going to hit you with my forehead again. That was really, that was much better. Okay. Very, very good. <laughs>